Cliff. Hello. So this is a Caesar strip flock. Mm -hmm. Heat transfer vinyl. We're going to go over the colors. And 13. 13 different colors. We're going to press all these colors onto a shirt. So you can see them in action, I guess. We're also going to press this monogram, this little bow. Onto the shirt. Strip flock's great for, uh, what is it? Alternative to embroidery. Alternative to embroidery. Embroidery alternative? Gives logos a raised texture. Yeah, it's like a soft felt feel to it. Alright, what temperature should it be at? Um, 320. Alright, so... We got the heat press set for 320 degrees for 15 seconds. I'm gonna be pressing all these to a white shirt. And it's a, it's a cold peel, right? Peel carrier cold, yep. correct. It is a cold all right. peel. Um, What's up, for, Teresa? For cricket, you wanna put your blade on standard and you're setting on iron. Is that your iron, iron on, on plus, plus, yeah. For silhouette cameo, you want uh, blade standard four, material heat transfer flocked, speed five and four six. All right, and that's what we use to cut all these. Hey, you want to hold this and I'll. Uh, Sweetly. I'll start pressing these. Sweetly. Right. First, we're going to start with pale blue with my finger out of the lens. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Should I press a bunch of them at once? Um, I think that's what we did last time, right? We just yeah. put it all on and then... So there's orange, pale blue, lemon, lemon, green. Too bad this doesn't have, like, touch here to feel. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say it's like a, a pool table top, like a felt. Yeah, it's like a felt. Like a felt. You got green, pink, black. White should be interesting on white. White. Is that what UF, UFC fighters do? White on white, white on white and black on black. And then you got yellow. Right. Bright red. green. Bright green? Bright red. Wow. <laughs> I'm not perfect. What are you going to do? There's red. I said bright green. Yeah, you did. Gray. Yeah. <laughs> Royal blue. And navy blue. All right. Should be interesting. See how this comes out with all those overlaps. Here we go. So we set the heat press at 320 for 15 seconds. Yep. Here, Here we, we go. go. <laughs> Dead air. <laughs> Dead air. Um, we're going to put this little monogram. That's what you call them, right? Yep. So in the orange. And the royal blue. Alright, let me. Oh, maybe I'll learn how to be a camera woman and not be shaky all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, ooh, it's a little hot. Alright, so we'll let this cool down a little bit. Put it on the cold table. How can you tell who's who's watching? Oh, I don't know. Uh, it feels like it's cooled down. And here we go. Navy. Royal. Gray. 
Bright red. Bright red. Not bright green. <laughs> bright red. Yellow. Red. White. Black. It's exciting stuff. Yellow. Orange and pale blue. Now this it has a very, very soft feel to it. And if you get real close in there, you can see that it's actually raised up off of the t-shirt. Fuzzy. Yeah, it feels really good. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna press this monogram. Two shots. All right, I'm just gonna flip this around and just put a little bit of the shirt on there. Off. All right, I'm gonna do this upside down. So when you press two collars to avoid a little shrinkage, you want to just press the first layer for a couple seconds. I gotta wait for it to cool down. Hopefully it'll come off. I've never never pressed it for just a couple seconds. Why are we pressing it for just a couple of seconds? Because if you press it for the full time, sometimes the vinyl can shrink up a little bit. And gotcha. Then the things don't line up correctly. Oh. Let's try that again. <laughs> press it for a little longer. Six, five, up. Oh. And wait for it to cool down and then peel it. Let's do a close up shot of the, the pink. And it's all its felt flockness, feltness, I flockness. guess. Flockness. Flockness. The flockness monster. <laughs> Pretty, pretty. Yeah, we were able to get a super intricate design too. I'm putting the bow on it. This is orange. Yeah, no, orange seal bow. It. 15 seconds. I'm like so impatient. I'm ready okay. <laughs> to rip it off. <laughs> Gotta wait for. It's it like cool. um, on a hair dryer, they have like a a button that you can push that blows cool air. Yeah. I know people push. use. They have like a cooling block, which is essentially just a tile. Yeah. And then they use it to cool it down. Alrighty, look at that. Nice little two color Let's get monogram. it close in. You can see the, the texture of it since you can't feel it online. <laughs> I think it came out pretty good. It I like did. those colors together. I used orange and um, what color was that again? Royal blue. Yeah. I'm gonna shut out the whole t-shirt. All right, I'm gonna back up. 
I think it turned out pretty good. Pretty good Hi, pretty Teresa. Good. Hi, Sue. And look at that. That's Flock Caesar. All right, you can put this on 100% cotton, poly cotton blends, 100% polyester, and leather. Pale blue, red, yellow, bright red. Not bright green, because I said that earlier. <laughs> Gray, green, pink, royal blue, black, white, navy blue. There's only 13 colors. Yeah, and then look how intricate you can cut this stuff, too. Pretty awesome. Pretty fancy Y's and E's and is that a C? Right? Yes, it's a C. It's a C. <laughs> e Y C. Yeah. If your initials are E Y C and you want this shirt, <laughs> let us know. Yeah, I really like the flock. I think the flock might be. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. One of my uh, faves. Especially for sweatshirts, sweatpants. It's definitely the way to go. Um, anybody have any questions? Let me hold this for a second. Yeah. <laughs> what the flock? You said that. Oh, what the flock? <laughs> what okay. the flock is right. So strip it's flock cool. is an alternative to embroidery. And you can use it on caps. Bags, garments. Yeah. The white on white's cool too. Um, use strip flock as a base layer and cover with other materials or more strip flock. The ability to layer this material allows you to say yes to multicolor designs. So if you're ever wondering if it can be layered, it can be. It can be layered. It can be layered. You want to wait 24 cool. hours before you wash it. Do not dry clean. Yeah. That navy looks really... Yeah, the navy looks... and the black are really kind of close together. Let's see if I can get it in the light. It looks blue over here, but it's it's definitely a navy. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to the, the royal, which is... Dark blue as well. The pink, the green. All the colors are really nice. That red's super yeah, dark too. The, um, even in the Caesars color book, you can kind of see that the navy and the black are like, really like just like two tints apart, I think. Yeah. So if you want to get like a bright blue out of it, but not a light blue, I think you might want to go with the royal. Yeah, but, which is this. Yeah. Let's show that in the light. Maybe if it was sunny out, we'd be able to, you could see it in the sun. Yeah. But it's not sunny out over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting <laughs> yeah. for the spring. I'm sure everybody is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, I froze up here. Oh no, we're frozen. Kim, hello, I've bought some flock and haven't used it yet. That's all right, that's our. Yeah, you should try it, it's, it's our, awesome. Kind of our first time kind of yeah. really dealing with it. Um, uh, I don't know if we're frozen up here or you guys can still see what's going on. Yeah, but we're, we're frozen. frozen. <laughs> all right, well, since we can't see, I guess it's a good time to end it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave some in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, answer them. Thanks for watching. Oh, we can hear you. Well, good that's thing. cool. Good thing I didn't start cursing up the storm, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I hope everybody has a good day. Yeah. Message us if you uh, need any help with anything, not just the strip flock or any questions. Um, Craft. Or Related, graph related, life yeah. related, fish yeah. related. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.